Right folks, so what we've got here is a Capcom CPS1 system uh, that uh, Chris Hankers sent me. I um, I had it in the in the uh, PCB haul video um, at the end of the video, but uh, this is it. This is uh, the A and B board, and it's missing uh, a, a C board to um, properly know what game it is. But I, I thought first, well, I, I don't know if it boots uh, at this point or what. Uh, we could actually just check uh, what uh, game this is by just uh, looking at these uh, proms first. These are mask roms and you can sort of read them um, with the right type of replacement EPROMs so I just need to research which one it is. But I'm just gonna read these first to maybe see uh, if I get anything. Uh, it'll be interesting actually to get this guy working. I suspect this two here missing. Uh, I'm seeing the uh, Street Fighter here, yeah, there should be two um, assuming, assuming they're all somewhat similar. Um, this one doesn't have this one either, so it's probably not, well, whatever it is actually. Um, let's, yeah, let's just check in, uh, in MAME uh, what this is and then we can take it from there. I got, so I got one of the mascaroms in the uh, EEPROM uh, reader and uh, let me get this gimbal right. Um, so I read it as a 47C40 EEPROM, uh, 400E EEPROM. Uh, these are uh, these are MB83 4200 uh, mascrums. Uh, that's what I read them as. Anyway, I saved it. We're gonna just uh, bring up uh, ROM ident. Um, this is mascrum one. I saved a few here, and uh, they they all work. But this one, actually, let's take the one I just. Uh, I just saved, and this is well. This is Street Fighter 2, uh, Champion Edition of sorts. Could be hyper fighting or turbo fighting. I, I'm not gonna just dig any deeper in this. Um, it's a Champion Edition, pretty much the same board um, as I have anyway. So uh, that's fine. I just wanted to know what it was. Uh, we're not gonna do much with this anyway. I'm gonna see if I can try to get it working again by just maybe checking every prom. Uh, these ones came up as just wrong altogether. There's very little in it, so uh, they probably need to be reprogrammed. Add those two and uh, see if we can this, uh, get this firing again. But I'm going to turn my attention to the A boards. I'm going to go back to my desk there and uh, start working on that. All right, so I'm just going to put my uh, B and C board on top of this guy. We're going to connect it, um, power it up, see if we get anything. Uh, this is standard JAMA, so no adapter is needed. And uh, monitor on. Let's give a. And we get uh, nothing, it's not even booting. Okay, that's fair enough. Okay, well, I'm just gonna start uh, start looking around, maybe inspect the board, um, see uh, see if there's anything that jumps out, and then we're gonna start probing, maybe probing the uh, the 68,000. This is one of those uh, square ones, um, and uh, see if we get any life anyway. Okay, so yes indeed, there was actually two things that uh, jumped out. Uh, see here, um, well it's missing two chips because I removed them, but if you look here, look at the, um, I need a better camera than a phone for this. We can see the, the corrosion on these legs uh, was pretty, pretty gnarly. Um, it's uh, it's bad on this one, it's even worse on this one, and it's missing a few legs. So this, this board was never going to boot anyway. Uh, literally missing legs um, when I pull it out so nasty and uh, well, the, the, the ICs themselves were and fairly corroded egg, uh, legs I tried to clean them as much as I can um, this one the buff one was especially bad so I'm just I'm gonna pop them back and uh, see if we get any life but uh, I might need to swap them from my other board um, I'm gonna inspect these ones as well there's a few more at these EEPROMs but just just looking from here, it's nowhere near as bad as those two. So I, I don't know what happened. It's just this spot here was corroded. I didn't see any um, any broken traces or any sign of corrosion on the traces. I did double check all the uh, traces going out of the pin, and they're all fine. So could have just been 
It could have been that one of the ship got corroded and corroded the legs in afterwards. I don't know. Anyway, let, let's let's see what happens. Um, if it boots or not. Okay, let's go. No, still not. Uh, okay, um, I'm gonna swap these uh, pals from the other board just to make sure that it's not that and then we can move on to something else. Okay, so I got the B and C board, uh, the working B and C board back. Uh, I replaced this guy. It's the, this pal was, I took this from my other non-working board that because it does custom, but it's the uh, buff one. Um, pad 16, I see. Come on, focus. There you go. Uh, and uh, this was the worst corroded one. I really had to actually sand down the legs just to get rid of all that corrosion, but it still wasn't working. Um, I put it here, so it's under there, and oh, look at that, folks. Uh, we got a booting board. Uh, not only that, come on, focus again. Not only that, but I don't see any signs of graphic corruption. Now, we're missing red, uh, that's obvious, but I don't see any sign of sprite issues or background graphic issues. Typically, you'd have either flickering sprites or some bars, or and if it was RAM, it'd be corrupted graphics, most likely, but those bars are usually a sign of uh, that, that a custom chip failed. So, this is great, because I can now start looking into the RGB generation uh, circuit and uh, and see where that red signal is being uh, stuck. Uh, I suspect this is not coming from the or directly from the custom IC but it's some of those uh, those uh, smaller ICs somewhere here because the uh, the pin for the, the RGB signal will be here and here. It's probably here somewhere I see RAM here. Um, these are video Video RAMs would be here and here, so these two RAMs are probably probably involved in the color uh, circuit. But let's uh, let's check for sure. So this is the schematics for the CPS one for this revision. Um, here we get it's going to be hard to read, but here we get our RGB signal uh, video uh, B G and red so red is coming from here it's coming from this uh, there's a resistor array here it's going through that and there's another signal coming from up there um 5c and 5e this is a 367 ls 367 and this would be uh 07 is it kind of hard to read yeah 07 uh, these are coming from this 273 and indeed these two RAMs um, so this and this here are going into this 173 and uh, this RAM here um, the other RAM is for the other it's for our huh, for our green and and blue signal which seem to be fine wouldn't be surprised if this RAM is is wrong and uh, if not, it's probably one of those three uh, things. Could be the resistor arrays here, but we'd, we'd get some red. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure exactly what do. those do. I think they're buffers, all two of them, that 07 and that uh, 3, uh, whatever, 637 or 367. I think they're both buffers of sorts. So this is, oh, it could be this guy, because that's the only one involved in the red as well. Well, no, actually, it's involved in the the R and the B. So it could well be this um, this uh, ROM here is uh, causing our issue, or this guy and this guy. Um, I'm gonna start probing the ROM, the RAM, sorry, and uh, and see what we get. Uh, I'm gonna see which one is which on the uh, PCB first and uh, take it from there. Uh, but the problem is gonna be here to probe anything because this is in the way uh, and because all these chips are surface mounted but the uh, the rams are through hole I'll be able to um, probe the ram first uh, from 
from um, uh, the back of the board. Um, and here, here, is those uh, those chips in question. So this is our RAM, and uh, that should be driving the uh, should have the red signal somewhere. That uh, 373, which is uh, this one here, and we got the uh, 367. Uh, for that red, it's it's here, and we got a pair, actually a pair of those uh, 07. Uh, I'm not sure which is which here. It says uh, 05C uh, and 05D, and those guys actually just uh, it could be actually just one pin on 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 that. Um, anyway, let's first check this RAM and see if we get any. Uh, Anything hanging. All right, a quick update on this guy. So, um, I did check the pins of the um, the RAM here, and uh, I fully expected some stuff to be stuck, but uh, they're actually all triggering. Um, so, well, I, I just started looking at what could possibly here be going, and uh, I was thinking it's probably unlikely that. Um, I don't know actually why I was thinking that, well I was getting nothing here um, at the at the cap legs and, um, and I thought if I if I if both these chips are, had failed so the 07 and the 367 uh, had failed I'll probably get one of them at least sorry these at least so it could be either the the resistor array because um, it's the same one for here and here remember this line and this line here are going into um, it's unlikely that both these had failed, so I'd probably get something out of one. So it's either this or this uh, 273. Um, so I, I just uh, took out my, uh, this is a new thing I got. Um, I had it a while back, never got to use it. I was a bit nervous doing it, but um, it went okay. Just used plenty of flux. Uh, so I took out the tiny uh, 173. These are surface mounted um, LS um, chips uh, for reference. Uh, well, this is a 374, but it's this is the the uh, through hole uh, tech. This is surface mounted. They're much smaller, but a bit more fidgety. Although I have to say I did like it because you 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 need less solder, less heat locally, and um, yeah, I, I kind of like this actually. I'm, I I have to revise my judgment on surface mounted stuff, but um, I put it back in the board. And uh, I know already what's happening. Come on, focus. There you go. But we got uh, our color back. Um, man, that was well. That was a lucky strike, really. Um, tiny bit of a uh, of uh, of troubleshooting, obviously, and uh, replace those uh, two well two sockets, uh, one PAL, and then one LS uh, three. Uh, 237 uh, in the, uh, the red, for the red signal and uh, we got a fully fully functioning Street Fighter 2 Champions Edition um, folks thank you well uh, before I say thank you for watching um, uh, Chris Anchors thank you very much dude for for sending me this uh, spare board um, much much appreciated and uh, I'm uh, very grateful. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm kind of blown away. I've had offers for um, other boards that aren't working by uh, a few people and uh, Yeah, thank you so much for I mean, this is so generous um, and this was a lucky one because these a board they, they fail It's rare not to find one uh, working. I was talking to my friend Porchi from jamarket.com and uh, he was uh, it's kind of like are oh, you lucky sod um, it's yeah they're rare to f find nowadays working these a board especially um, anyway so we now have a CPS one Street Fighter Champion Edition working the other thing I want to do I probably won't do it on this video is I want to take the other B board and just repopulate it just for the sake of having one working. Um, do I need to do that or keep it as spares? These are a lot more common actually than the A board. I'll see. But for the purpose of this video and as far as this board is concerned, it is now fixed. Um, we got sound as well. I I won't try to play it because I don't have a kick harness. Um, uh, and uh, I won't be able to kick. But the controls seem to be working um, other than that. Uh, folks, 
Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was interesting. And uh, don't forget, you can find me on Patreon if you want to help the channel, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. This is a Discord server if you want to chat to them, like minded folks. Uh, folks, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.